Skylum is just about to release their big fall upgrade for Luminar Neo. Now we have already showed you how to use all the new features and tools in our preview video. And on top of it, we have a full tutorial for the color transfer tool. In today's video, I will answer some of your most common questions about this big fall upgrade. And to make it a little easier, you can use the chapter feature in the bottom left corner of your screen to go easier between the different questions. So we have a lot to go through, so let's start right now. Okay, so let's go straight to your questions, starting with the section with general information. First one, of course, what is the Luminar Neo for upgrade? where it is major update of the application. It brings advanced AI-driven tools as well as user highly requested features. Things like color masking, more advanced way of organizing the catalog and so on. In overall, the upgrade will definitely enhance our photo editing workflow and I think again, bring our creativity even further. Looking at the second question, when is the upgrade available? Well, today is 10th of October, 2024, and it should already be available. Now, this will depend on a region where you're from or where you are. So just keep checking and it should arrive soon. Moving on to the next question, how do I access the full upgrade? Well, if you've been using Luminar Neo for some time, you will know that these upgrades and updates arrive as a part of the regular update. So how does it work? Well, to find out if the update is already available, you can close and open the application. And when you open it, it should prompt you with a request to update the application. If that doesn't help, then head to the top left corner of your screen and click for the check for updates, I think. And when you click on that, it will tell you if the update is already available or not. So be a little patient, especially if it's the 10th of October, it should be with you soon. Now, moving on, who is eligible to receive the free upgrade? Now, I know that there was lots of talks about this across the social media and website. Very basically, the subscribers to Luminar Neo, if you subscribe to it, you will get it for free. Then they are the one-time payment or lifetime users. Now, there are two kinds. First, if you bought the application between the 1st of July and 15th of August, in 2024, you will receive the upgrade pass for free at no charge. But if you purchased outside of these times, so basically before the 1st of July or after the 15th of August, to get access to all the new features, you will have to buy the upgrade pass. But I will talk about the upgrade pass a little bit later. Now staying with the lifetime users just for a little bit longer, because the next question is asking about what features will lifetime users get? Well, the lifetime users will receive the catalog filtering, the virtual copies, star rating, and also the film strip feature in the editing module. To get some of the more advanced tools like the color matching or color masking, you will have to get the upgrade pass. And talking about the upgrade pass, that brings us nicely to the next question, where you were asking what is the upgrade pass 2024 and 2025 and how does it work? Well, in very simple way, the upgrade pass will give you access to the fall 2024 and spring 2025 updates. Now I'm sure that you will wonder what these updates include. So according to Skylum, it will bring eight professional tools and also generative AI features with the license until January 2026. So you will get the tools, eight tools, as a part of your update and you will be able to keep it. But the generative AI features will be available until January 2026. Now, of course, now we know how it works. What is the upgrade pass? So with the next question, you are asking, what is the cost of the upgrade pass? Unfortunately, there isn't really simple answer for that, as the price will depend on your Skylum account, when and how you purchase the application, and also on the offer 
you see at that moment. But looking around, I think the price for the upgrade pass should be between 50 or 100 dollars. Now looking back at our general information section, the last question is what are the system requirements for the upgrade? And you will be happy to know that they remain unchanged. Pretty much same as the previous versions of Luminar Neo. Moving on and looking at the questions about the color transfer tool and color masking feature. Well, starting with the obvious one, what is color transfer tool? Where I already show you how it works in my preview video. And if you are really interested about this tool, we have a full tutorial on our YouTube channel where you can see everything about how it works, about all the different controllers and few examples. But basically what it does, it matches the color of the reference image and apply to your own photo. Well, how can you use this? Well, you can, for example, get image from your favorite movie and then match the image colors and luminosity on your own photo. Or you can get an image from your favorite photographer or an image that you really like and again, copy the color and luminosity on your photo. Now, the next question is simple. Can I transfer colors from any image to my photos? And the answer is yes as long as Luminar Neo is able to open that format, so your JPEGs, PNGs, TIFFs and so on, you will be able to use it for the reference photo. Moving on the color masking, you are asking how does that work? Well, it's kind of common feature often used in applications like Photoshop and Affinity Photo. And basically what you're able to do is to select a specific color on your image, for example, red, with a little eyedropper, you can click on that and it will select the red. Additionally, it has a little slider where you can basically adjust the amount of the red and different shades that will be included with that mask. Again, I show you example of how it works in my preview video. So if you want to see it, you can go and see it now. Now moving to the set of questions about the smart search and catalog enhancements. Here you are asking, what is the smart search? Well, this machine learning powered search tool allows you to search your catalog, not only by date or file name, but by much more. So for example, you can type in a sheep and it will find images with sheep on it. Or you can go much more specific. You can write mountain or mountains with snow and it will show you images with mountains and snow on it. So I think it's very powerful and I can't wait for you to use it. How does the smart search use the machine learning? Well, it analyzes the image content and recognize different objects and scenes. Some of you were asking how long does the analyzing take? And I have imported about 5,000 images and it took maybe a 30 seconds. So absolutely nothing major. Finally, in this category, what new catalog navigation features have been added? So that is the smart search. You can also filter now by much more. You can filter by the camera. You can filter by the lens, by the file format, by the ISO and so much more. Plus, you can rate your images with the star system from one to five. And you can also create the virtual copies. Moving on the questions about the love or hated generative AI tools. Starting with the first one, what are the generative AI tools in Luminar Neo? Well, there are three, uh, Gen Erase, which allow you to use the generative AI to erase parts of your photos. Then Gen Swap, this one allows you to swap or add new elements to your images. And finally, the third one, Gen Expand, which allow you to expand parts of your photo. Moving on the what improvements were made to the generative AI tools. Now this one I have to read. New algorithms make these tools more detailed, accurate and capable of generating realistic results. Now what it really going to mean is that these tools now generate higher quality of images with fewer errors and faster processing times. And finally, 
two more questions about the new features in Luminar Neo, starting with the first one about the film strip. So with the previous updates, we have seen the arrival of the film strip to the catalog module and to the presets module. Well, now we also have it available in the editing module. This is a huge advantage as we can now edit the images without the need of going back and forwards into the catalog. So I really like this feature and I think you will enjoy it too. And then additionally, you were asking about the virtual copy. What is it for? Well, this is also a great feature because in past, if you wanted to edit the image multiple different ways, you had to create copies of that file on your hard drive. Well, now you can just create a virtual copy. So imagine one image, let's say where you want to change a code from red to blue. Well, then you can create a virtual copy of the image and change the code into the green. And then you can compare the images between each other. Or with the landscape photography, you can apply certain edit, let's say lots of warmth and magenta and really saturated edit. And then you can start the workflow again and apply different tools, maybe create a little bit less saturated or more dramatic look. And then you can very easily compare the images between each other without the need of adding more images and more storage to your hard drive. Okay, so those were some of the most common questions about the upcoming big full upgrade for Luminar Neo. If you have any of your own questions, then don't forget to write them into the comment section of this video and I will be happy to answer them. In the meantime, don't forget about our preview video where you can find everything about these updates as well as the full tutorial for the color transfer tool. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure that you like it and comment under. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future content on Luminar Neo and Aperti. For today, as you know, my name is Jacob Bors and I can't already wait to see you in the next video.